This is a Sylvania mid-1960s tube color tabletop television and there have been several previous videos on this. The last one where I finally got the safety lens off the CRT and cleaned the cataract out and siliconed it back on and I'm just now getting some time to reassemble it and we'll see how it works. I also cleaned the whiskers out of the control pots on the back of the board uh, in one video. So let me start on this and see if I can get it back together and we'll see how it works. <clears throat> now I should probably be wearing safety glasses on this because these sets are really, these CRTs are really known for being unstable uh, when they're out of the set like this and they don't have uh, they don't have the uh, PVA material or whatever in between the safety glass and the uh, CRT front. So I'm going to get some safety glasses and start reassembling this thing. Alright, I'm going to get it down on its face like this and I think I'm going to try and get in here and clean some of this up down here before I put it, put it back together. I always get a bunch of comments now. Uh, why are you wasting your time on this old crap? Throw it in the trash and get a flat screen. But the other side of that is tube color tabletops are fairly rare now. And with those messages, it seems like I always get a bunch of personal messages. Do you want to sell it? Will you ship it to me? Well, I'm not selling any of them right now. Um, movie industry is kind of starting to come back to Los Angeles a little bit and they are highly interested in these too so um, there is a bit of a demand for these they are rare and especially if you have two or three that are identical they really get excited about that and I believe I do on this one so let's see if we could get it to work and how it works. Now the CRT is kind of weak, we know that, but we can still uh, see if we could get a halfway watchable picture out of it. In putting this thing back together I'm actually referencing my video so I get it as close as possible and not have to totally reconverge it. So the clover leaf here sits over the top of this metal ring you can see so this goes down with the blue on top so it's it goes down and it sits right over this metal ring and then the purity magnets referencing the video you can see that that side is cut flat and those are rounded off on that side and the way it is in the video, it goes like this, with this part straight up and down. And the rounded off ones to that side. I'm a little bit irritated because one of these springs is missing and I can't find it. So I'm hoping that'll turn up, but I'm getting this all back together. It actually went together pretty easy. There's only this one thing here. And part two of the Sylvania is where I tear it all apart. Okay, it's all back together. Everything's all hooked back up minus that spring, which kind of irritates me, but I'll have to look around for it. IF is hooked up. Speaker's hooked up. Yoke, convergence, high voltage, everything's hooked up. I turned all my screen controls up to max. I guess I could turn these. Well, those are at max. These are the two pot assemblies I took the whiskers out of. Prior to this, the thing did not have any vertical deflection. Uh, I was thinking it was probably in one of these pots. Oh, we're going to find out right now. We're going to plug it in and fire it up and see what it does. If you just look at it from the front, what a difference a cataract removal makes. Wow. All right, here we go. And we 
have absolutely nothing. All right, let's try this again. I believe I had the plugs for the yoke and the tuner assembly reversed. What kind of stupid design would make the plugs exactly the same? Oh, that's better. And we have tubes glowing in the back. You just blew the circuit breaker all right I got the watt meter on here I got the horizontal output tube disconnected 172 160 157 200 218 to 19 I'm going to hook the horizontal output tube up to 60 Ooh 270 very possible that that's actually really bright it's actually uh, it's very possible that the circuit breaker is bad Wow is that working now ah, these pots all got stuck with that paint break these loose Anyway, that's that's red all the way up. Pretty tired. It's red going up and down. That's green. That's blue. Um, Red is really tired. Hardly see anything there. I wonder why there's no activity like the AGC is way off or the uh, I think maybe the tuner needs to just be cleaned. Basically one screw and this whole thing comes out and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kinda lube this all up. I'm gonna do the pots here. I'm gonna do the volume control, get it in there. Give that a little squirt. Get this one here a little squirt. See it. Just 
kind of hard to do. And then we'll rotate those around a little bit. Kind of work that in. Someone took this cover off. I don't know why people do this and didn't bother to put it back on. That kind of stuff irritates me, but you know what? Who cares? Just kind of just hose this whole thing down. Just, uh... Doesn't really matter. The CRT is pretty far gone in this thing anyway. The value of the control cleaner I'm using is more than the television set. Alright, I'm just going to ratchet the hell out of this and put it back together. Isn't this a trip how they have this plastic membrane? And the, the membrane rotates down like it bends. See that? and it slips oh man not good this is probably the wrong way to do this but this thing is really oxidized look at that whatever all right let's try this again i want to see some of that stuff on the screen us ancient dinosaurs refer to as snow and it appears i still don't have it Just turning the AGC. You know what? I need to get a signal on this, but it sure doesn't look like the IF or something's awake. I have the leader NTSC test generator fed into it. Let's see what if if there's any RF at all coming through or if it's just totally dead. Well, that's kind of interesting. Doesn't appear the fine tuning's working at all.
now four. Turn the AGC down a little bit. There we go. Had the AGC up too high, it was overloading. interesting you see that that's color that's the color demodulation Looks pretty sick. That's got to be right, because if I flip up one, even though this is staying on channel 10, that I'm switching to channel 4. If I switch to channel 3, and I come down one, so that's got to be right. That's 3 and 4. But the fine-tuning isn't working. Maybe I should have a look at that. It's evening now, and... Figure we come back to this at sunset because these things were never designed to work and be viewable outside uh, after the sun had indirect sunlight, which it pretty much was. So here we go. Let's see what we get. We'll try and do a full setup on this using the NTSC generator. <clears throat> Maybe I'll give it a few more minutes. Uh, we'll see how it looks. Alright, so this barber polling trash here is because the, the 3.58 color oscillator is way off frequency and it can't, can't sync. So I'll turn the color off. And this blue, yellow and blue bleed or something. Alright, so let's analyze this just the way it is. We, Looks like we got some vertical deflection issue up here in the corner. I don't know if the you could see that the way the lines are spread there. The yoke is also 
the yoke is also I didn't get it back on straight so let me try and do that first just try and pull it back against the springs yeah, that looks a little bit better all right let's see if we could straighten this vertical out go to you don't like that what do we got going on Let's see if we can straighten that out pretty bad. I'm just adjusting the vertical height and linearity and looks like we got quite a bit of a convergence issue oh stop it okay a red line. That's good. Let's try and do a correct setup on it. Why not? So we'll try to look at how far off that is. Jeez. That is pretty hideous. All right, flip the setup switch back. Hey, you're starting to, starting to look a lot better. All right, let me do, I guess the purity didn't look too bad. Let me move That's moving the that blue lateral magnet, that big wheel on the back. It's interesting how it makes it blurry or not blurry. Really? Yes. Oh, there we go. Hey, look at that. Zoom in a little bit there. So we got some down here at the bottom we got some blue That's cranking the AGC up. Now we got down at the bottom here, the blue is way off. So that would be the, uh, the pots on the board. 
And you know what? I'm not going to screw with that right now. Cut it out. It is twerking. The picture is twerking. Could be a noisy vault. It could be a noisy pot. Look at that. Look at if I crank the contrast up. Okay, enough of that. Let's go to color bars. So again, what this is, barber polling rainbow. What this is, is probably a bad 3.58 megahertz crystal. But what I'm going to do is there's a coil that allows me to warp this and basically this is the tool that you use right here it's um, 80 thousandths hex And the coil that adjusts this is right, that right there is the, that tube right there, 6GH8, is the oscillator. And right there, there's a, right behind it, see that green coil? Right there. That green coil, it's not, does not have a can over it. That is the oscillator coil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably hurt myself while trying to tweak it, but I'm going to try it anyway. All right, Barber Polling Rainbow. I'm going to attempt to tweak that and warp that crystal and bring it into where it'll sink. This is not the right way to do this. You want to change the 3.58 megahertz crystal. Uh, these things they they suffer from silver migration the same way that the mica capacitors do um, and it will continue to drift well that's interesting well let's see if we can bring it in That was good. That set my finger on fire. Crap, that hurt. All right, I'm trying not to cuss right now. There, you see that nice RF burn? Thumb. That is going to friggin' hurt tomorrow. All right, I bent the focus rectifier out of the way, which is what bit me. So, a little bit intimidated, but I'm going to try this again, and I'm going to keep my distance. And you notice it's slowing down. I'm, oh, don't do it. 
Because the next time you shock me, you're going to get thrown. Look at that. Gotta love the smell of burning flesh. That's tent. That's brightness, or that's color level. That's brightness. And notice it kind of goes, this little twerky thing up here at the top is kind of interesting. horizontal oscillator oh that's the other thing when you when you adjust the horizontal frequency because the color is using the pulse off the flyback adjusting the horizontal frequency also adjusts that caught that um, God, this thing burned me in two or three other places too it gets its the the pulse off the flyback for the color so when you adjust the horizontal frequency it screws with the color too let's bring the brightness up a little bit and the focus okay that that is centering is focus okay the next thing I'm gonna do uh, is I want to tweak the horizontal oscillator coil, if I can, without killing myself. I want to tweak the horizontal oscillator coil. I want to let it warm up for a minute. Are we bored yet? That's kind of cool. I love how this red bleeds across the top here. That's kind of interesting. I'm going to put the horizontal hold control on the side here, kind of in the middle. It's got really solid horizontal lock. And I'm going to bring it in, tweak it to where it's... going the wrong way. And you'll notice how doing that pretty much got rid of the twerkage at the top. The bend in the lines. You'll see as you start to go off with it, you create that, that twerky thing there. Now, back to that, we suddenly see the focus looks pretty crappy and the convergence is way off. Try and, try and bring that in. Okay, we want to try and bring the, bring the blue over a little bit. Somehow, 
Oh, there we go. Somehow that thing got turned. I must have hit it when I got shocked. Doesn't that look better than it did during the day? So the other thing we could do with the NTSC generator is we'll go back to this and then we'll put it on solid color and that's white, green, blue, and red. We can look at the purity and it appears the purity needs a little bit of work, but you know what? I'm not gonna screw with it right now. Um, I'll probably just move these magnets around on the back a little bit. Nah, I don't wanna screw with it. I'm gonna leave it. I have other videos on convergence. All right, I got nine minutes left on the disc here. Uh, let me get a let me get a signal out here. I would still like to see full-blown snow on this when I don't have a signal fed into it. This indicates to me that something is lacking in the IF or... Something is lacking somewhere, but I'm not going to get into that right now. It could be a tube, it could be a resistor. Uh, it could be an AGC problem. You and Xavier Roberts have a trash can. Julia, let's adopt a pet. Adopt them all. Adopt them all. Grab a heart. Cabbage patch is not the key. Unlock the love. Unlock the love. You can hear me. Adoptimals are adorable pets that talk to you. Woo, These woo, new Cabbage woo. Patch Kids have a key that unlocks a magical heartbeat. Adopt them all. Grab a heart. Cabbage patch is not the key. Adoptable Beats Sold Separately from WCC. We'll have a beach party! Yay! Uh, Radical! Party all summer long on the summer of Sprout. Well, I'm turning the fine tuning. Why am I not getting a color every day? Oh. Oh. About the series is that she adventure, imagination, and come on, where is the damn color at? And we're taking such a lovely approach to her multicultural neighborhood that she lives in. The belief that these children have, it just inspires you. The way children believe is a lesson for all of us. Ready for the best day ever? Venus World, a new original series, premieres September 26th, only on Sprout. And now, it's time to celebrate today's birthdays from the Sunny Side Up Show. Don't ask me what channel I'm on. I don't know, and I don't care. Harley and Chica here. We hope you had a nice Labor Day. And it's time to celebrate birthdays. Happy, happy birthday to you. I'll do doo doo. Happy, happy birthday to you. You're good to grow. So count the candles and blow. Happy, happy birthday to you. To you. To you. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Alex. Oh man, working nights on Labor Day. That is dedication, folks. <laughs> yeah, sleep well. We'll see you in the morning. Hey, she got it's Mackenzie's birthday today. Hi, Mackenzie. Mackenzie is four years old today, she got. It says, we hope you had a magnificent day. We love you very much. Whoop, love All right, I'm going to pause this pause. while I continue to try and Mackenzie. get the fine tuning to Happy do something. Mackenzie out there in 
but yet as soon as I go back to the generator, the color is there. The green beanbag team comes in first. Emma and Xavier win this time. Caillou was proud to have crossed the sandbox. He didn't care about winning the race so much anymore. <laughs> you all did very well in the beanbag race. I have a surprise. I thought you might like beanbags of your own. Jelly beans were definitely Caillou's favorite kind of bean. Everybody's a winner. Everybody gets a trophy. The Good Night Show will be right back on the Summer of Sprouts. Meet Mary. She loves to shop online with her debit card. And so does Bill, an identity thief who stole Mary's identity and took her hard-earned money. LifeLock's proactive identity theft protection helps guard your social security number, your money, and your credit. Call now and get 60 days of LifeLock identity theft protection risk-free. Use promo code ACTNOW and get this document shredder free. Call 1-800-LIFELOCK. That's 1-800-LIFELOCK. Puffy in my pocket, teeny tiny fuzzy puffs, bitty bitty, they're so pretty, just collect them all up. I can put them in my pocket, any place I can't think of, wear and share, everywhere. Oh, puffy lock, it's so perfect. Ava eating her first snack is so cute. I wonder what's going on in her head. Mmm, think of all that time I wasted chewing on my toes. Gerber Puffs with no artificial flavors, that's a win-win. <laughs> McCormick salutes the dinner makers, who know that pure McCormick flavor is at the heart of the meals that bring people together. Here's to you. Here's to homemade. McCormick. Pure tastes better. Watch. Nothing can stop Crizal No Glare lenses. Neither water, nor smudge, nor scratch, nor damaging UV rays, nor glare of night can keep you from the clearest vision possible. Ask for Crizal No Glare Lenses by Essilor and live life in the clear. Get up to $90 back when you combine Crizal, Verilux, and Transitions and buy a second pair with Xperio UV Polarized Sun Lenses. Learn more at Crizal.com. As a mom, the key to getting everything done is making sure he's having fun. We both love these new play school toys. They pack up dough and go with us wherever we need to be. Introducing the new line from play school. Toys that can play, dough, and go. Each sold separately. You got the crayon? Excellent. Hi. Carly and Chica here getting ready for school because it's getting ready week. Yeah, yeah, it does look that good. The color is that good. Then join us on the Sunny Side Up show this week from 9 o'clock live on Sprout. And now, story. Sure Let's get some video of this. This is makes it all worthwhile. Wrote a sandy story. Yippee! Once a sprouted time, there was a tiny little caterpillar named. Oh, how about Colby? Colby's a terrific name for a caterpillar. Okay, Colby it is. Colby the caterpillar dreamed of being able to fly kites at the park together with the other animals, like Daniel the dog and Carol the cat. All right, well, that's a wrap on the Sylvania 1966 color. Uh, the reason why the color wasn't coming in is because I had to screw with the fine tuning and I just wasn't hitting it right. So I pulled the tuner out and um, got it to click in and go. So. There it is. Not bad at all. Not much smearing. Not It looks pretty good for the way the CRT tests. At least in the dark it does. Very usable. Very watchable.